Northrop T-38 Talon was the world's first supersonic trainer. It is a two-seat twinjet aircraft, and is the most produced supersonic trainer in the world. Northrop began work on the N-102 Fang jet fighter in 1952. The Fang had a shoulder-mounted delta wing and a single engine, but the proposed General Electric J-79 engine would make the fighter large and expensive. In 1953, General Electric introduced a new much smaller jet engine, and Northrop saw the chance to develop a smaller and cheaper fighter. The new fighter was named the Northrop N-156, and was planned as a small supersonic jet capable of operating from the U.S. Navy's escort carriers. However the Navy decided not to use the N-156. Northrop continued developing the N-156 on their own, adapting it to become a lightweight fighter aimed at the export market. When the U.S. Air Force issued a requirement for a supersonic trainer to replace the Lockheed T-33, Northrop decided to adapt the N-156 for this purpose. Due to the low costs, Northrop was awarded the contract. The first aircraft, designated the YT-38, flew for the first time April 10, 1959. The first production aircraft were delivered in 1961, and officially entered service on March 17. The T-38 seats a student pilot and an instructor in tandem. Its performance has earned it the nickname White Rocket. While the T-38 has a similar appearance to the F-5B and F, it can be distinguished by the wings. The wing of the T-38 meets the fuselage straight and ends square, while the F-5 has leading edge extensions near the wing roots and wingtip launch rails for air-to-air -air missiles. Most of the produced T-38s were T-38As. However a small number were converted to AT-38Bs, which were used for weapons training and could carry a gun pod, rockets or bombs. The T-38 remain in use in the U.S. Most of the aircraft have been upgraded to T-38C standard, with new avionics. Besides the U.S. Air Force, the T-38 also has been used by NASA as a jet trainer. It has also been used by Germany but the German aircraft has U.S. markings and operate from Shepard Air Force Base in Texas. The Turkish Air Force operates 33 T-38s. Former users include Portugal, South Korea, and Taiwan. The T-38 was produced until 1972. 1,187 aircraft were produced in total. During the years, more than 50,000 U.S. military pilots have trained on the T-38. The aircraft type is expected to remain in service until 2029.